I know that those on the other side are not without intelligence, not without common sense, not without brains. And so when they say the sorts of things they're saying no, I have to conclude that they're just playing the fool in order to try to exploit what they see as a political opportunity. Madam Speaker, if once you concede as you must that the current suppliers of butane to this country are a monopoly or an, a monopoly, they divide the monopoly into three different countries, but it is one family that controls the sourcing of butane into this country, a Mexican family. I heard the honorable member for Lekai say, well, if that company and its agents can in fact take the price as low as they have done in this effort to drive the local retailers out of the market. It means we have been fleeced because we could have forced them, we could have forced them to uh, retail at, at that sort of low price a long time ago. But he well knows and the entire country knows that the, when the ministry seeks to set a ceiling and those suppliers who are also retailers and distributors don't want to accept that ceiling, they threaten that they will cut off this country, that no butane will come into the country. You want to look out for poor people? How you want to look out for them when they can't cook, when they can't do anything? because these people who are holding us up to ransom say we will simply stop importing the beauty. I know, properly explained to the Belizean public, they are prepared to precise, and they are prepared to pay what is fair and to give up the fact that they could pay much less for a period of about, of about two or three more weeks but that the result of that would be that all local retailers would be driven out of business and then the people who would have succeeded in doing that, who source the butane, would simply have jacked the prices up tenfold. Who do you think the, the Belizean public would have come to them? And we have... Ah, well let me... Uh, you see, you shouldn't have me open your mouth. You shouldn't have opened your mouth. You shouldn't have opened your mouth. This bill is a kind of companion piece or an extension to an SI that is being passed, which SI will give the supplies control uh, people power to seize the stock of those importers if they play the fool and not follow the law and, and, and keep threatening us uh, uh, about cutting us off. If you think that they ain't going gentle into that, good night, think again. So we need to prepare for war. And we are making sure that we have a proper arson, ar arsenal. We have a proper armory, a proper set of weaponry so that we could grab the knife here, grab the sword here, pick up the gun here. Take the bow and arrow, yeah?